Actually, 30% of the feces is wasted, but the other 70% is high in nutritional content. Are you ready? Summer of 1965. Me and the boys of Company F, Bracket 17, were stationed in Laos. And we shouldn't have been in that company. We shouldn't have been at that place at that time, but it just turned out that that's how it was. So we didn't have much choice in the matter, but to, when you're in the trench for seven months, you start to really lose touch with the things you used to know. People start to look like animals, and you start to lose a little bit of your humanity. But this doesn't stop the individual from staying alive, you know what I'm saying? There was still that primitive sense of wanting to live. That primitive sense of survival. And although we were captive for so many years, for so many years, I don't think any one of us in that company ever lost touch with our primal sense to, to live. It's something that you just can't get away from. So, after having consumed foods which have very little nutritional content for a long period of time. Your body naturally begins to produce its own nutrients from the elements, hydrogen, oxygen, and what have you. So what you have left over is an end product in your feces which is highly uh, nutritious. Actually, 30% of the feces is wasted, but the other 70% is high We can live without having to eat food content. and just eat off of our colons. Do you understand that? Do you understand that these things are nutritious? You can eat your own feces. Do you know what this means for our civilization? It means that we can live without food. We can, we can live without having to eat food and just eat off of our colons. Do you understand that? know how important this is this is very serious this is very serious i want i want you to i want you right now to to close your eyes i want you to close your eyes and think a moment of the history of evolution at the beginning of time man was a product of a possibility that he would be a certain way and he would always hunt for food Hunting was his way of getting food. And then he discovered the weapon. And then he was able to kill for food. No, have, no longer having to eat plant life. There'd be no more need to go to the grocery store, to eat at restaurants. All you'd have to do is take a spoonful and there you go. High nutritional value, full of your own shit. Feces. I've been saving that up for a long time so I can 
digest it and live off of it. Oh. 